Well, this Hispanic Heritage Month, we continue to honor Hispanics in our community that have made just great contributions to the world when it comes to our military. Many people with Hispanic backgrounds have served for years to defend the U.S. and continue to allow all of us to have the freedoms we enjoy. And one veteran joins us this morning with Trooper Steve now in this week serving those who serve. That's right, ladies. So Colonel Edwin Moreno served in the United States Army for 42 years, earning several accolades, but his his life of service didn't just stop right there. It never does for any of our service members. He served in many capacities locally and continues to honor our military members and veterans on a daily basis. Sir, thank you so much for joining us today. Colonel, tell me a little bit first about you, your service. When did you join the United States Army? In 1971, uh, when I realized that my parents could not afford to send me to uh, university college to become a school teacher, which is what I wanted to be. Okay. Uh, so I talked with a local recruiter and, and he said, well, you're joining the Army for three years and uh, after you come back from maybe Vietnam, then uh, the GI Bill will pay your four-year university. And that sounds like a plan. So <laughs> where, where do I sign? Right, right. So when uh, you signed up, did you realize you were in a career-long journey? You were going to become a colonel? Oh, no. I was enlisted, I was a private. I, right. my, my idea was to go there, serve it wherever they sent me, and then come back and go to college and become a school teacher. But after three years, it turns out that I enjoyed the, the regiment mm -hmm. and the uh, environment, the military approach to things, and wearing the uniform and the proud of serving, and so I continued. Uh, I did come back to Puerto Rico, okay. go to college, and join the Puerto Rico Army National Guard. Nice, nice. And, and after t eight years there, uh, they said, uh, Sergeant, by then I was a sergeant, Sergeant Marrero, come here. Now what did I do? Right. They said, we're going to send you to officer candidate school. That's nice, right? Right, what did I do? I want to be a sergeant major. <laughs> right, right, you wanted to go the enlisted route. Yes, but no. Okay. Uh, they said, no, uh, you're going to officer candidate school. And what, so I salute the flag, went to OCS, got commissioned. Uh, and, and had an amazing career out of it. For second lieutenant, first lieutenant, captain, All the way major, on up to lieutenant the colonel. colonel, and here we are. So 42 colonel. years of service, you wrote a book. Tell me a little bit about this book. The book uh, was uh, in, inspired by my daughter, Omira, uh, who, who told me, uh, Papi, I need for, uh, for you to write some memories for my children. Okay. Uh, because you have had a very interesting life. And I said, well, I've, I've thought about it, but... Uh, so she gave me a notebook. Okay. And the notebook had impressed on it, uh, every moment matters. Mm. And very interesting. And then she, they called me Poppy, so uh, the title of the book happens to be for Poppy, Every, Every Moment, Moment matters. matters. Beautiful, beautiful. So you did your career, you went back to Puerto Rico uh, for some time. Yes. And uh, tell me about how after your time of service, service just continued for you. Yes, in Puerto Rico, uh, hard economic times, uh, uh, being a member of the Puerto Rico Army National Guard was not enough. So ultimately, uh, my wife and two daughters back then we moved to Columbus, Georgia, and got a job, I continued to go to school, and joined the Georgia Army National Guard. After five years there, having a full-time job and a part-time job, uh, then we moved to the, uh, transferred to the Army Reserve. Okay. Ended up in Miami. Oh, there we go. Uh, we had to pay our dues, man. <laughs> well, one year there, a full-time job and a part-time job, and then in that full-time full job was with the Department of the Army. Okay. As an operations training so officer. service kept going. Yes. Okay. In, 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 in both ways, two careers at the same time. And let's, let's not forget the family, which I had done all those many years focusing on my full-time job and my part-time job. Uh, so after, well, be, being in Miami, uh, mm -hmm. a position opened up in Orlando, and we moved here 37 years ago. Wow. I retired 11 years ago, and, and here we are. Been going since. Uh, you've done a few things. I know I'm running a little short on time here, but uh, your service continued. You served with the Orange County Advisory uh, Council for the Veterans Committees there. You served as the chairperson yes. for that. For how long did you serve uh, there? In, 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 as start, the chair. As the chair, it's so six years. Six years, uh, and then yeah. now you're still actively involved in uh, well, everything. We, we have to, uh, because uh, it's an honor to serve those that serve and served. 
It's an honor to serve those that serve and served. So with that approach in mind, when I took over as chair, we had six veteran service organizations mm -hmm. at, the, at the table. And I reached out, let the veteran service organizations and other entities, political entities also, in Central Florida, not only Orange County. This is what we do for our veterans and their families. So come be part of it. By the time my tenure ended, uh, six years, uh, six years is enough. Right. Uh, we had 44 at the table. 44 veteran service organizations and uh, political entities represented with the sole purpose of serving our veterans and their families. Colonel, absolutely amazing. You said something that you wrote in a book yes. uh, that you wrote down. What, before we walked out here, we were talking about something. What was that that you wrote in that book to, to my executive producer? We are where God wants us to be. And that's where I believe you are exactly where you want to be. Colonel, I really appreciate you, sir, for your time and your dedication. Thank you. Ladies, back to you.